going on everyone TG vapes here today we're gonna be reviewing the Bupu Argus GT kit with the PMP pot tank it's up close and I do apologize um, I will be having a uh, better camera here soon to make these videos a little bit uh, cleaner all right so on the side of the box it says max power 160 watt the gene chip fire fast and accurate extremely replaceable dual 18650 battery all right on the back Argus GT contents Argus GT device the PNP pod tank 4.5 milliliters the PNP VM5.2 ohm coil the PNP VM6.15 type C cable in the user manual so let's see I've been kind of anxious to see what this mod is really gonna look like Wow okay so I was not expecting this all right this is pretty freaking cool Wow that is that is a pretty dope box Vupu. uh good job there I like that that's a um that's a box with a little bit of style to it man you don't uh you don't really see them come like this especially not for you know not so much an extreme priced item hell even some of the extreme priced items don't have that good of a uh, presentation with the box all right now up close here is the argus gt and this is the dark blue edition all right you know i expected this to be uh a little bit bigger of a box mod it's really not that big you know if i hold it up to my revo here which is obviously a bigger mod um you can see the size difference um i'm so happy this does look nice I don't know if you can see the Argus going up there the Vupu there the gene chip inside there type C charging is gonna be behind that flap right there now I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is gonna be like a dust proof waterproof shock proof type like the Aegis um but I'm getting I'm getting that feel that it is um at least yeah yeah I'd say so all right so thank God I'm not opening a Vupu device that comes with a U-Force tank that is in my opinion one of the worst tanks ever made ever made all right but to speak a little bit about the coil system that this does utilize the uh, the PNP pod device or pod tank coils um you know they came out first uh, some smaller ones like the R1 M2 with the uh, drag baby trio kit which I wasn't a fan of um and then the the Vinci series which you know I wasn't a fan of the Vinci series um, I did receive a sample of that and tried it out for a little bit I really didn't like it but I had a lot of customers that came in for that Vinci and were were happy they really enjoyed them uh, and then the uh, the drag uh, S and the drag X that uh, came out with the new VM5 and VM6 coils uh, 
great feedback from those mods great feedback people have really enjoyed them so I'm pretty sure that this uh, this Argus GT is gonna it's gonna be a winner all right so a little bit about the uh, PNP pod tank you know it's a 4.5 milliliter tank um, the first time I was showing a customer how to uh, when they asked me how do I install the coil on this you know PNP pod tank it stumped me I'm sitting there trying to you know screw it off couldn't get the damn thing off so bam magnet So, to start this review off, I am going to use the VM6 coil. The VM6 coil. Oh. Sorry about that. The VM6 coil is the one point, the point one five, sixty to eighty watt. Alright, so now that I've placed the uh, the VM6 coil in there, you'll see here there is a little rubber tab there that you will lift up to fill. All right. And today we're going to be testing the Primitive Vapor Company Skipper Milk Pie. A buttermilk custard pie with creamy peanut butter and caramelized sugar. And it's tasty. I've been running it out of the Free Max Autopod 50, and it's amazing. All right, so just slap that back with the magnet. All right, and there you go, right there. If you love desserts, it's a must-have. It's a must-have. It. It's one of those um, vapes that, since I found it about a month ago. I might put it down for a couple days, but that's it. All right, got the batteries in there. See there, pretty bright screen. It's Argus at the top, dual battery indicator, which is nice. Um, got your wattage, this and that's gonna be your power mode. Of course, it's gonna be right there it's going to show you the ohms all right the volts it looks like the puff counter and then it looks like it might graph your uh the seconds of your hits there all right and it did pick it up uh 0.18 all right i'm gonna take this off real quick and uh see what this menu is going to look like okay so you're going to see here that's the original screen three clicks is going to go into R mode and bring up blue another three clicks is gonna bring up your uh, metal description there okay and then I guess you're gonna have to hold the fire button down in order to get out of that menu all right so now what I'm going to do is look here in the instruction manual, which looks very thin. So I'm guessing that this is going to be um, pretty easy. Okay, so function description. The smart mode is the S. It's going to um, identify the best power and prevent the coil from burning due to high power. The R stands for RBA, uh, user to find adjust five wattage, five, five wattage, five watts to 160 watts. 
and then temperature control mode obviously which I showed you with the three kinds of heating wire all right um you will be able to clear the uh, the data on the screen with the fire button and the minus button at the same time and then to lock and unlock you're gonna do the fire button and the plus key at the same time all right so I'm psyched okay you know like I had shared a couple of reviews ago you know I've been building um, all my coils mesh um, I haven't used a tank in a long time I'm not a fan of salt I'm not a fan of pod systems uh, until I reviewed the auto pod 50 by Freemax the other day I can't put it down I can't it's become one of my go-to mods it's in my pocket and I pull it out of my pocket multiple times a day the, the flavor is amazing but I'm not gonna try to get off subject too much on that so let's test out the vapor here I'm gonna start at 50 all right And it does keep um, the information from the hit for more than a couple seconds, which I guess if you're the type of person that, you know, uh, wants that kind of information, I'm not. Um, I guess that's a pro for you. So, what I get from the first couple hits at a lower wattage okay what I can tell is that the mod fires extremely fast it's a good um, solid The mod just feels solid, okay? This feels better than the drag, the drag 2, alright? And, sorry, go off camera real quick. I just wanted to make sure that uh, I knew the, uh, the wattages for the BM6 that I'm using. It is 60 to 80. So now I'm on 60, okay, and I haven't had the juice soaking too much, too long in the coil there, but I'm getting great flavor. It is a, a rather warm vape, um, which I'm not normally fond of, but the flavor is great. The flavor is really good. It's it's really making the buttermilk uh the skipper milk pie taste really well. Wow. Wow, this is this is a very nice kit. This is a very nice kit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to look up real quick um, because I want to be sure I'm giving you guys the right information about this and I want to make sure that um, I can let you know whether or not this is a indestructible type vape. It is very light which is nice.
okay so it doesn't seem to be um, waterproof dust proof shock proof uh, but this is a very nice mod um and if you're looking for it I believe we're selling them right now at tgvaluebape.com for $64.99 and that's with a free uh, Riot Squad 60 mil now I'm at 70 alright and great flavor great flavor great flavor great flavor let's go up to 75 All right, so I haven't had this uh, juice in there for too long. I think maybe it was like four minutes that it was sitting in there. Um, normally, I would let a coil um, from a sub home tank sit for about 10, 12 minutes before hitting it to prevent any type of dry hit or you know excessively burning the coil quicker. Um, and it is getting a little hot but not too bad not bad at all I'm not feeling like any type of dry hit is about to come from this let's go up to 80 nice very nice um I personally feel like with this VM6 that uh you know I would more than likely vape this at 65 watts continuously um it's very nice very nice device I give Vupu some props on this one um I'm gonna be looking forward to uh, testing out the uh, the Argus um, pod kit as well. That's gonna be a 40 watt device that is gonna um, use the PMP coil system as well. So, pros, cons. The pros: flavor, great flavor. Type C uh, charging. The covering of the type C port always a plus you know I've had a lot of people uh, even they bought the Aegis they're supposed to be indestructible you know um, and other mods that you know they fried their mod by juice dripping down into that open port so having that closed is really nice the carrying case pro this is awesome very very nice that's very nice to have that um the overall feel of this mod it's lightweight it feels durable the the fire button is in the perfect position the PNP tank instead of a U-Force tank pro con hmm I'm not really sure what the con is what what a con um I really don't have any <laughs> This is a great device. 
and for the price you you really cannot beat it you have a huge line of PNP coils so you could actually if you wanted to vape salt nick by using one of the R1 or M2 pop, uh, PNP coils you know that's always a plus because I know there's a lot of people out there that go through you know little spurts of liking the salt nick liking the e-juice um, wanting this wanting that now they're able to do it with these pod you know with these pod tanks and stuff like that which is really nice um as for right now i really don't have a uh a con to tell you about this kit um if i can find one at a later date maybe i'll post it on instagram or make a short video on youtube to you know kind of let my my people know but uh all in all, great device, gives great flavor, and that's about it. Like I said, if you're looking to pick up an Argus GT, we do have them on TGValueVape.com. They are paired with a free Riot Squad 60mm, and that's all I got. I'm out.